Hello friends. Welcome to online lecture series of human computer interaction. <clears throat> now today we'll see what is this evaluation methods. <clears throat> what are the different factors that are distinguishing evaluating uh, evaluation techniques? So how do we decide which methods are mostly suitable for our needs? So there are no hard and fast rule in this. Each method has its uh, particular strength and weakness, and each is useful if applied appropriately. However, uh, there are several factors that should be taken into account when selecting the evaluation techniques. So that factors uh, distinguishing evaluation techniques. So we can identify at least eight, fact uh, eight factors. that distinguish different evaluation techniques and therefore so help us to make appropriate choice. So first, there is a stage at which evaluation is carried out in cycle. Second, evaluation style. Third one is subjective style. Fourth, the type of measures provided. Fifth, the information provided. Six, that is immediacy of the uh, response. And seventh, level of interference implied. And eighth, that is the resource reply. So here, uh, one, uh, let's see, this one factor is uh, missing, that is information provided. So next. So design versus implementation. The main difference between evaluation of design and evaluation of an implementation is that in the latter case of physical artifact exists. Roughly speaking, evaluation at the design stage needs to be quick and cheap. So, cheap, so might involve design experts only and be analytic, whereas information, uh, you can say, whereas evaluation of the implementation needs to be more comprehensive, so brings in user as a participants. Laboratory versus field studies. So laboratory studies permits a restricted experimentation and observation while losing something of the naturalness of the user's environment. Field studies retain the latter, but do not permit control over user activity. Next, subjective versus objective. The more subjective techniques, such as cognitive walkthrough or think aloud, rely to large amount on knowledge and expertise of the evaluator, who must recognize the problems and understand what the user is doing. Objective techniques, on the other hand, should produce repeatable results, which are not dependent on the uh, persuasion of the particular evaluator. Then qualitative versus quantitative. So in quantitative, is usually numeric and can be easily an analyzed using statistical techniques. The qualitative is non-numeric and is therefore more difficult to analyze, but can provide the important details that cannot be determined from the numbers. This quantity is usually a numeric, while the your, uh, qualitative uh, that cannot determine from the numbers. The information provided, <clears throat> the information essentially is to an evaluator at any stage. As any stage of a design process may range from low level information to the enable design decision to be prepared to high level information such as is the system usable then immediacy of response so another factor distinguishing the evaluation techniques is the immediacy of the response that they provide right 
some methods such as uh, think aloud, record the user's behavior at the time of interaction itself. Other such as post task walk, walk, walk through, rely on the user's recollection of the events. Then intrusiveness. So uh, related to the immediacy of response is the in intrusiveness of the techniques itself. Certain techniques, mainly those that produce instant measurements are obvious to the user during the interaction and therefore run the task of the influencing the way of the user involves. Resources. The last consideration when uh, selecting or choosing an evaluation technique is the accessibility of the resources. So resources to be considered the compromise technique, time, money, participants, expertise of the evaluator and the context. So uh, these are the different factors that distrib distribution the evaluating techniques. Next, the classification of evaluation techniques. So using the issues discussed in uh, previous section, right? We can classify the evaluation techniques we have considered, right? So here, yeah, this allows us to identify the techniques that most closely fit our requirements. So there are different classifications techniques. That is, you can say analytic evaluation techniques, experimental or query evaluation techniques, then observational evaluation techniques and monitoring evaluation techniques. So in analytic evaluation techniques, we have to consider a cognitive walkthrough, heuristic evaluation, a review-based and model-based evaluation is there. There's nothing but the analytic evaluation techniques. While in experimental and query evaluation techniques, here, this techniques is based on experiment, you can say interviews, and a questionnaire, a questionnaires, right? So based on uh, these three, uh, we, we can classify this experimental and query evaluation techniques. Then next is observational evaluation techniques. You know, observation evaluation techniques is uh, we have to uh, based on the think aloud, then uh, protocol analysis, then post hoc walkthrough. So based on this, we provide this observational evaluation techniques. And there's fourth one that is the monitoring evaluation techniques. So in monitoring evaluation techniques is based on the eye tracking and you can say uh, psychological or sociological, you can say sociological uh, measurements. That is for is all the classification, you have to consider a stage, style, objective, measures, information, immediacy, interest, time, equipment, and uh, that is expertise. So you have to consider this, this different points, right? For the different classification of this, evaluation techniques that is analytic evaluation techniques uh, uh, experimental and query evaluation, evaluation techniques then observational evaluation techniques and monitoring evaluation techniques <clears throat> so we stop here in next session we'll see the next one